Uh, hi MGC students, just wanted to finish the two examples of applications of simultaneous equations that we were working on in class together on Friday. Uh, we've got uh, the sum of x and y type question here, and then we've got the, the mangoes and apples example as well. Okay, so these are the types of questions we're focusing on uh, for the test. It could be one of this style of question. Uh, there are lots of styles of question for the applications of simultaneous equations, but these are our major focus. Okay, uh, so we agreed that we would uh, add these two equations here using the method of elimination. We could uh, add equation 1 to equation 2. And that would cause the uh, the y's to to cancel one one another out or eliminate one another. So let's uh, let's try that. So the left hand side of equation one and of equation two. and then the right hand sides. So 35 plus 15 no, plus 5 rather. Okay, uh, so there we go. Y plus negative Y goes away. They cancel one another and we're left with like terms x plus x makes 2x and 35 plus 5 makes 40 which means uh, we divide both sides by 2 and get x equals 20 Okay, so now we need to substitute this back into these equations. We recommend that we do both so that we get that check, that safety check. Okay, so sub, it should say sub shorthand for substitute x equals 20 into 1. So, uh, that means 20 plus y equals 35. So, subtracting 20 from both sides, y equals, sorry about the slowness of the pad at the moment, everyone, but you get the idea. And that gives us that y is 15. So let's check by putting into equation 2 as well. So what have we got here? Uh, x is 20. Take y equals 5. So we take the 20 over. 5 take 20. Just have to squeeze this in here. Negative y equals 5 take 20 is negative 15. So we can divide through by negative 1 or just look at it as 
those uh, negatives cancel and y is in fact 15 again. If they go away, y equals 15. So we've got that same answer both times. So for this one, x equals 20 and y equals 15. Okay, very nice. Righto, let's look at the uh, mangoes and apples situation. Uh, so we formulate some equations here, just going to write them out again. Uh, so we had the mango cost two dollars more than an apple, so if you subtract the cost of an apple from the cost of a mango, there's a difference of two dollars. So that can be our equation one. Uh, and four mangoes and three apples. So if you multiply the cost of a mango by four and add that to the three apples, that'll add up to fifteen dollars. So there's our second equation. All right, now we can use elimination again here, uh, but the coefficients don't match. We don't have a, we've got a one m and a four m and a negative one a and positive three a. We need those numbers, those coefficients to match somewhere. Uh, there's a couple of different ways of going about this, but uh, personally, I think the quickest one is to take equation one and multiply it by three. Now, if you did it a different way, just uh, hang on and see if you end up with the same answer. It, it should do, as long as you did all your working out correctly. But let's try equation 1 by 3, which gives us this. Okay, so uh, we'll call this now equation 3, a new equation, and we can see that we've got negative 3a and positive 3a here, so if we add equation 2 to 3, then we're in business. So let's try that. the left hand sides oh, I'll switch to blue here actually we're going to put equation 2 first it doesn't matter really which way around you do it if you put equation 3 step first and then equation 2 it'll all come out the same really so 4m plus 3a plus switch to red Okay, oh, no, that should be a plus there. Beg your pardon. Right, plus 15, plus 6. Okay, so 4m plus 3m, that gives us our 7m. And 3a plus negative 3a goes away. We've eliminated that. 15 plus 6. 21. So we divide both sides by 7. Actually, I might do it down here to leave some room for some other stuff. Okay. 
So mango dividing that by seven on the other side is three dollars. Twenty one over seven, three dollars. Okay, so now we're going to find the cost of an apple. I can substitute into both equations, of course, as a safety check. So let me just put a little squiggle here just to separate the working. Uh, this page, you know, it's, it does get the, the working out does get a little muddled with this sort of setup. Uh, we should set it out a little bit more neatly with, when we've got more room, but this is okay. You'll get the idea. Okay, so putting this into the first equation, $3 for a mango. Take a equals two. So that means if we subtract three from both sides, negative a equals two. Oops, two take three. So a equals negative uh, negative a equals negative one. Those can cancel those negatives, so A is equal to 1. And Apple is $1. Let's just check with the second equation as a safety. So 4 times the cost of a mango, which is 3, plus 3A. equals 15. Okay, so 4 threes are 12. Take that over and subtract on the other side. 3a equals 15, take 12. Okay, so 4 by 3 is 12, goes over, becomes negative 12. So that means 3a equals 3. So they divide both sides by 3, that cancels to give A equals 1 again. Okay, so the cost of an apple is $1. We have double-checked that. Alright, so uh, because this is a worded problem with a, a realistic sort of situation, we should give a, a worded answer to this. Now, I didn't really point that out on Friday, but pointing that out now, we should write... Uh, at the, uh, our final answer, which would normally be down the bottom, but we'll put it up here in this space. A mango costs three dollars. And an apple oh, big pardon sorry this is so slow everyone but that's okay. You get lots of time to see it. An apple costs one dollar. Now, for some reason, we've lost the original question here. I think I've pushed the wrong button, but that's okay. You guys get the idea. Uh, so, our final worded answer to that problem. Okay. Thanks for watching.